in recent times, I have like a, I'm like a British photographer whose work really I look up to is uh, is uh, th there are three artists I would recommend. First is Nadav Kinder, N A D A V, space K A N D E R. Yeah, the first one. Um, he, I, I'm a though a lot of people try to box me into the. I'm always. Uh, I personally identify myself to be a portrait photographer. Okay. And what I mean by portrait photography is essentially I like actually documenting people's emotions or uh, their how I how they're looking at me is mm -hmm. something I want to kind of like document, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I look. I definitely find he is able to bring something. Uh, a lot of my favorite artists have been shot by him. Oh, so I love oh. how he shot them. But that otherwise, also he shoots his pictures of even uh, Donald Trump is interesting for Forbes. He shot, which was a very interesting. Pun. Yeah, this oh. was a very interesting, and also for me very interesting at a in a for a different reason is like. So now, if we take this image, I would just like. Can you just please enlarge this if you don't mind? So now, what? So for us, it's interesting. From a, for a layman's perspective, but if you could break this down, what what makes this image so interesting? Can you just... uh, uh, two things. One, I love how he lit that. Mm. Uh, so there is a definitely a personal, uh, a, like what he feels about the person. He is able to use light to kind of bring it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. bring out. There's also a small shadow if you see at the back looming. Oh, oh. Well, well. on there's the a, TI, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a whole his shadow looming on behind him. Oh, oh. Yeah. did he? Was he like he will leave his shadow on time? See, that could have easily been corrected if he didn't want it. So I'm assuming he left it on intentionally. Purpose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, damn, this is beautiful. Cool. Who was the third photographer that you were talking um, about? The other photographer who's really influenced me is Eugenio Requanza. It's a bit tough to spell. I'll spell it out. It's E-U-G-E-N-I-O. N-I-O space. R-E-C-U-E-A. He's a Spanish photographer. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, he makes a lot of set-based work where he's building... Mm -hmm. uh, set and is always uh, it's very interesting for me mainly because he's is a conceptual artist so he mm -hmm. each image is always trying to bring this extra layer of working with symbolism you're familiar with but then take it into a some some kind of story or a narrative which he f is curious about mm -hmm. um, so that's like uh, beauty and the beast yeah it's the he did a whole series on uh, the characters from uh, um, Disney oh you have this mm -hmm visual language which is coming from spending a lot of time in paint then it also brings all these characters and like oh. storytelling is very amusing for me okay the US US flag? yeah the US flag zoom into that oh so those are not stars yeah i think these are if i'm not wrong these are all flying uh, yeah. birds or like these paper birds yeah like origami is, uh, birds yeah Coming out of there's his... a lot of he does he does a lot of social commentary through his images. You'll okay. see him talk a lot about uh, like um, America or wild terrorism. You'll see in fashion imagery that too. You know, okay. it's not like doing yeah. it. So he brings always and in general, like European uh, visual language is more like open to like bringing in a lot of different variables into it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be too strict about what you're trying to sell or like mm -hmm. too strict about what you're trying to show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. He's definitely like someone I've. Uh, he stayed with me for a, for a very long time, like as an influence. Oh, is that Abraham Lincoln? Yeah, it's a representation oh. of Lincoln okay. with his violin. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think there is some sort of like it. And what I've learned from him is when he shoots these people, he never. Uh, beforehand research on them or talk to them uh, often people say oh you have to put someone comfortably get comfortable before you shoot he doesn't doesn't do any of them okay. he straight makes them sit Correct. if they're uncomfortable he's happy about that okay so he, he kind of is has a certain perspective to taking um, images 
Um, there is a guy called Man Ray, M-A-N space R-A-Y, M-A-N space R-A-Y. Okay. Yeah, Man Ray is a French, I mean, like he was American artist, but like this surreal photographer who, as a medium, he pushed that, okay, how you see it and how you put a subject or frame a subject and how you, you kind of relate to it, he changed the medium. Like he was able to show a different perspective of looking at uh, okay. compositions or looking at how do we see a subject and what does it mean to see that subject and so forth. Um, Can I you give us an example with some pictures? Like uh, his very iconic is like, for example, that girl with the the first image. The violin. Yeah, so that's the, it's a nude, but it's a violin as a metaphor for that specific 